Hello Floss Tube. It's Mary with Mary Stitch in Time and Darcy, as you can see, she has joined us again um, for my second Floss Tube video. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed. Um, I was kind of surprised that I got uh, people to subscribe that quickly um, and I truly appreciate it and all the kind comments um, also were greatly appreciated and kind of helped me um, get myself ready to do another one. So. Here we are, um, week two. Um, I have an update on two of the things that I was working on. Um, that would be Nature Gives and um, Ollie stocking the Sidecar Santa. Um, I also want to introduce um, a couple of my um, works in progress. One is an old one that I've been working on for probably 10 plus years. Um, I work on it, I stop, I work on it again, I put it away and I forget about that I do it and then I say, oh yeah, I want to work on that again. So like we all do, I'm sure. So um, that's one. And then also a new one, which is Long Dog Samplers um, Pandemic, um, which I started. Um, I waited a while to get my floss, but um, that's okay. I know with the pandemic, um, the actual pandemic, um, things were a little bit slow because they were trying to get supplies to do the floss, um, to dye the floss. So, um, so yeah, so I will introduce two of those and I also have two finishes, one framed and one not framed to show you today. So um, let's get right up to it and we are going to update you with Nature Gives first. I was working on that um, yesterday and um, got all of the outlining done on the spring section and I'm just so anxious to show it to you because it is so pretty. And I'm not sure if I'm going to go down and work on the summer section today, later today, or if I am going to um, start working on the words that are above it. So let me show you. Isn't that pretty? I just love it. It really brought it out to life. The trees and the flowers and that, that uh, watering can. And the bird just is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. So here's that. Again, I will include the information for this. Um, probably would not be able to find this um, in a store anymore. Um, uh, but eBay um, always has, you never know what you're going to find on eBay, right? So um, that um, will add information, again, will be in the bot in my notes. So you will see it. So there is that one, and the other update I wanted to tell, show you was Ollie's stocking, and I have a reindeer. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> I've got, he's got this, his big nose, just like Santa's big nose, and I filled in all of the information the stuff. I filled in his arms, his two arms with his mittens, and all of this stuff uh, right here that is um, behind the windshield. That's why it's a slightly lighter color. I love that they did that. And um, now I'm going to outline as much of him as I can and then start over here with um, Santa, um, getting Santa's coat and um, the front of the motorcycle to work on. So that I will be working on this week. So I will have another update for that next week for you. And it is, I'm having so much fun stitching that. It's the, just the colors are all so bright. They're, it's so much fun. So, okay. My really old work in progress. This is Mirabilia's Feather Fairy. I fell in love with her uh, a long time ago. Um, not long after it was put out and um, I just loved her the way she's stepping it's so delicate and all the flowers the feathers I mean on her skirt that make up her skirt and um, I just I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous so I there was a website I don't know if you can still do it but there was a website that I found online before I started working on this um, to give me an idea of colors, of fabric backgrounds that would work well with certain um, patterns. If they had the pattern in the um, in their database, then you could put it up against um, fabric to see what it was. And it may have been a silk weaver, silk weavers thing because a lot of the fabric that was available was silk weavers. So that is actually what I picked out. 
please forgive the folds. It's been in progress for a while, but I picked it up again last year and I really started working on it. And this fabric, there she is in all her gorgeous glory. I just love her. She is so pretty. So, so pretty. Um, there is, um, it's DMC thread, and I, I've got uh, Krynik in there as well, especially in the wings, especially. Um, she will have beads. Um, she's got a bead necklace around her neck, and she's got beads in her hair. This fabric is um, uh, 36 count crystal glacier, and this was actually picture this plus. I misspoke. It was not silk weavers. It's picture this plus crystal glacier. Um, fabric and it's got some sparkle in it as you can see um, it's just it's just really showing her off beautifully and um, I really now that I see her again I want to pick her up and work on her but I gotta get a stocking done first I hate that part <laughs> when they've got deadlines to get things done anyway so that is my Mirabilia fairy um, it's really the only Mirabilia that I've worked on although I have several that I would like to do um, but I'm, it's kind of like you know get these done first so before you go on to something else I mean we all do that and it's hard to do I know um, especially when you want to do it but otherwise you end up with so many starts and you never get anything finished so and I do like working on big pieces so um, you know you just kind of have to I guess pace yourself is the best way to put it and uh, <laughs> let things go as they may um, yes Darcy is with us um, she's just kind of hanging there seeing what she's doing mom's doing weird things isn't she Okay, so um, I don't have a color version of this, but if you, um, for the pictures, because, um, you know, Long Dog Samplers does things um, generally in um, monochrome, um, but you, of course, can do whatever you want to with the colors, and I belong to the Long Dog Facebook page, um, and it's, it's just amazing, these, these pieces that these ladies and, and gentlemen are working on, they're just absolutely gorgeous, and the color schemes that they chose, um, you can tell they've done more than one because I'm still dealing with, um, on my first one, this pandemic one, um, I'm just dealing with it as, as, a, as a one color so I don't have to really think about how I'm going to make the colors. But I highly urge anybody who's interested in this to um, check out the Long Dog Samplers um, page, Stitchers page, um, in, on Facebook because you will get so much encouragement. So I picked this to do on um, an ice blue fabric. It's a 40 count Edinburgh fabric. Um, you use, um, it's 30, 36 count, excuse me, not 40 count, 36 count Edinburgh fabric called ice blue. And um, the thread that I'm using is one of the um, DMC, um, 4200 series or 4000 series, um, they're uh, uh, variegated threads, and I chose to use um, Northern Lights, which is number 4215, and I'm just loving how this is coming up. It's so beautiful. Um, as you can see there, that's my my uh, my beautiful start on this. Um, they're very intensive, but since you're just using one, since I'm just using one color, it's just a matter of just going and and going and doing, you know, following the color thread as far as you can. So um, I don't have a lot done on it. Um, I don't stitch as fast as a lot of the, the people that work on these, um, but uh, it is something that I know it's going to take a while. And um, and honestly, hopefully, um, it will last longer. This pandemic will last longer than the current one we're dealing with. So that is pandemic, and again, I just love the color. Um, so I ended up buying 16 skeins of this. Um, I'm, I'm actually stitching uh, one thread. Am I stitching one thread? No, I am doing two over two um, on this. And um, it is, uh, you know, hopefully, I, I did all the math. They gave they give you all the information for how many how, how many yards are needed of the thread, and um, the uh, patterns are. This particular pattern is not a hard copy pattern. It is a PDF pattern. So um, I could actually, if I need to, I can bring it up on my computer or on my um, uh, tablet 
and work on it that way um, so I don't have to use um, you know I don't have to use the patterns but um, I generally do that uh, anyway so um, I know there are a lot of people who do like to use um, their computer or a, ta a tablet to do it because they can make things bigger um, easily um, I just choose um, uh, magnifying glasses um, that clip on um, these are real heavy so they don't weigh down my glasses but um, if you've ever been to a stitching retreat with me, you'll often see me um, with these on and talking with them up like this. So <laughs> it's it's a weird look, but you know, okay, it works for me. And um, I'm always the nice thing is is that they're always available for me, and um, they do help a lot um, with the higher count fabrics. My eyes are not actually too bad for my age, but um, you know, I, I can't work on 40 count without them, and 36 count it's easier to work on them. Um, for, uh, 28 count and below. Um, I, yeah, I generally use, um, I don't use them, so it makes them pretty easy. So um, the last thing I'm going to show you today is the uh, is finishes. I have um, one finish that I did last year. It's a pattern I saw and I absolutely fell in love with. It's by Silver Creek Samplers, um, and it's called Olivia Ochre Leaf. And I got this for Christmas in 2018. My brother and sister-in-law were down in Saint, um, in uh, um, uh, Branson and went to the stitching shop in there and took in the information and say, my sister wants to do this piece. Can you put together, she likes to work on 36 and 40 count, can you put together a kit for her and um, I got that for Christmas and I just was just thrilled she is so pretty and I am anxious for Tony to f to frame her so this is Olivia Oakleaf on 40 count fabric I don't have the actual um, name of the fabric it is um, showing a little washed out here but it is um, a, a tan butternut type um, fabric and it uses all gassed threads, or actually all Weeks Dye Works threads, and one gassed thread. Everything else is there, but yeah, she's so pretty. And just, it's it's fall, and I, we've got crisp air right now, and um, it's just really, really making me want to get her framed. So I think, Tony, if you're watching this, um, this will probably be the next one I bring in. Um, so um, be prepared. Um, you've already seen it once, so you know what it looks like, but um, yeah, you'll, you'll be getting it again. Um, so she is just so pretty, and her dress, I don't know, I just love her. I, I have to show her again. I just love her. She's so cool. I just love that. <laughs> anyway, me being silly, sorry. Another one um, that I'm going to show is an actual framed piece. This was done in 2012. It's a Little House Needleworks, and um, it's called Acorn Hill, and it is currently hanging um, in our house right now for the fall season. Mom always puts it up for fall. The frame, I found it at um, a thrift store for a dollar. Um, it looks like it needs to be cleaned. I do apologize for that. It looks like it's got some... Mom must have set it down and gotten some um, wax on it from the Scentsy things so we'll get that cleaned off and I do apologize that that's in there I didn't see it before I put it I before I decided to show this today but the frame has some beading around the outside so I just wanted to show that to you and um, isn't that pretty I just love it it fits the frame very well and I framed it so of course it's completely off um, top and top and bottom the tops up a little higher than it should be but not much I can do about that right now I, I'm, I'm happy with it and it just looks so pretty and it's I, I just love their these little pieces these little house pieces I don't have a lot of them done um, but um, I do I do think they're so pretty and this is so fitting for fall right now the air is nice and crisp outside and it's the sun is shining and it's just wonderful. Oh, I see we have another cat. That's um, Colton's backside that you see there. He is, I guess, getting himself comfortable. I don't know. He might be sniffing something that's over on that side. They also, I have blankets piled up for them to sleep down there too, so who knows what else he's going to do. Otherwise, um, I don't really know um, much else to, to pass on to you today. Oh, there he is. Now you can see him. He's the 17-pounder that um, is mom's cat, so... Um, you just never know what he's going to do, other than right now he's planning on walking over one of my pieces, so I don't think we want to do that. 
So um, anyway, but again, I wanted to, this isn't as long as the first one, and um, you know, I'm kind of going to try and keep them around this so that um, I don't talk too much because I do tend to ramble, um, but <laughs> it's just one of, me, one of the things that I do. So um, if you get a chance to, um, leave me a comment. Um, I'm always appreciative if there's something um, that you'd like to see, like how, how do I do this or how do I do that? That's fine. That's cool. How do I store stuff? Um, I'll be happy to do that. Um, happy to show that to you. And um, yeah, so I think that's going to be it today. Um, I will also, if you're um, liking my shirt, I will also um, give you the information on how to get this. This is a house mouse shirt. Um, house mouse um, t-shirt they have the pattern um, I just I love it the, the mice and I I actually this is the second one of these I had I wore it so much and it got washed so much that it all got washed out so I bought another one and um, it is still available um, through them through housemouse.com and um, I will put their um, link in my notes as well so you can see that um, they have them for knitting too so they have a kitty um, having a cat there's several different ones, but they they include cats and mice, and they have also rabbits and, and bears all in the same type of um, caricatures, and they're just absolutely adorable, and I love them. So um, anyway, so uh, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and happy stitching, and um, everyone stay safe. Thank you very much. Bye.